Hi all, Elliot J here again. So today what we're going to do is the two sample independent t-test. So you use an independent t-test when they have two different groups and they don't affect each other. So in this case I have males and females and I also have levels of stress between one and five. So to do the t-test first click on data and then data analysis. And then for here, click on the two sample assuming unequal variances. So you should always click on this because it's robust for situations where the variances are equal and unequal. And the other option for equal variances is only robust to equal variances. So you want to choose this one because it always works. After that, hit OK. Now find variable one. So variable one would be the female stress. So highlight everything in that column. And once you've done so, you can exit out clicking this button. And then variable two would be male stress. So highlight all the males data and click out of it. And the alpha is set to 0 0.05, which is perfect. And now we need an output range. So this is where the data will pop up once it's calculated the t-test. So anywhere in here is great, just drag and click and then click out and then everything looks perfect so you can go ahead and hit OK and then out comes the data so the first variable to come out is always the first one you inputted so this is the females so you can change this one to say female and then change the other the one that says five to male because then it becomes a lot more easier to interpret and then from here you can see that the females average stress was somewhere hovering around four just slightly less and the males was three and that the males had a little bit more variance involved and each of them had 23 observations. So this is the t-statistic and you'll see that it's 2.52. And then there's the one-tail test and the two-tail test. You use the one-tail test when you had an a priori hypothesis going into it. So basically that would be saying, I predict that females are more stressed out than males, for instance. And if you had a hypothesis that was simply like, I think that there would be a difference, but I don't know who's going to be more stressed out, then you would use the two-tail. So go ahead and take everything you need, which would be the mean, your p-value, and your t-statistic. And that's how you run an independent sample t-test using Excel. Thanks for watching.